So I've already cut the glass for the drawing that I'm going to uh, be framing and you can find a link to that on this video in the iCard. Um, so I'm using a sectional um, frame for this. So basically what that is is a metal frame that comes in certain lengths, different, uh, different lengths depending on you know what you need. I, I got an 18 by 21 because that's the size of the piece that we're framing and that's the size that I cut the glass. So um, I have the glass laying here in front of me and the first thing I'm going to do is clean it really well and I'm just going to clean this one side and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so this, I like using this glass cleaner. It's a foam spray. You don't need a whole lot of it. And it is pretty much streak free as long as you get um, everything really wiped around and dry. It typically does not show any streaks, which is really nice. So I'm gonna clean this really well. Okay, so this side should be pretty clean. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the drawing that we're framing, this beautiful piece um, entitled Wild Moonlight, and I'm gonna lay it down on the glass that I just cleaned. So then what I'll do is I'll pick up this whole thing and I'm going to flip it over and then I'll clean the front side of the glass. Now once the artwork is underneath the glass, I don't like to spray directly onto the glass just in case any of it leaks underneath. So what I do is I just take the spray and I spray it on the cloth or whatever I'm using to clean with and then I start cleaning the outside of it. And sometimes what happens is you'll see spots that you missed on the other side. So you can just lift up the glass and clean it. So the benefit of cleaning the glass on this side right now, even though I'm putting more fingerprints on it, is just so you can see that if there's anything that you missed on the side that's against the artwork, and you're trying to scrub it away on the top and it's not going away, you know that it's on the other side. is looking pretty good. Okay, so with these sectional frames, they come with this little bag of hardware. Um, so basically, you have these two little connectors and you put the one with the little screws in it down on top of the other piece that doesn't have screws in it. And what happens when you screw this in, it expands and then it holds the two pieces together. So what I'm going to do is place this inside the pieces. I 
actually, I think what I'll do is just flip this over now because we have to we have to hook these together from the back. This can be a little tricky to get started, but once you get the first corner done, it goes together a lot easier. So once you have that in there, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I keep forgetting that I need to put things together before I slide pieces together. So I'll show you on the next, uh, the next corner what I just did here. Okay. Screwdriver. So what I did on that side is when I put those two pieces together, I took these pieces and I slid, slid it in to the groove here. Okay, so you have that kind of put together. So I'm gonna do this one on this side. One last piece done up on the top. last piece is kind of the trickiest piece. Okay. So we have all of that together now. Tighten this up. and see how it looks. Okay, so what I like to do before I kind of finish off the back and make sure everything is in real tight is just look at it one more time to make sure there isn't any fuzz on the inside of the frame where it is touching the artwork. I want to make sure that the mat is nice and clean, that there aren't any smudges that we didn't notice before we put it in the frame. And this actually looks really nice. So the last thing we need to do with this, with these sectional frames, um, 
I'm going to make these corners a little more perfect now. I just wanted to get it together and make sure that we didn't have any stuff on the inside. So I'll make these corners a little tighter. Okay. So then they come with these little U-shaped, C-shaped mm, um, springs. And what these do is they push the artwork in and hold it down tight. So what you do is you just slide those under. See, I push it down and then it just slides underneath the frame and it keeps things from rattling around. And they give you quite a few of them. So I tend to like to use most or all of them, just because why not? And then we've got the hanger so that we can hang this piece on the wall. So you want to make sure that you have the top. You want to, I mean, you want to know what side the top is because when you place the hangers in here, that's what these are. You want to have them closer to the top than to the bottom. And usually what I like to do is kind of follow the rule of putting them one third of the way down on the frame. So if we have 18 inches here, so you get to help me with math. If we have 18 inches and we divide it by three, what is that? 18 inches divided by three. I can't do math. 18 divided by three. Okay. How many threes in 18? I want to say three. No? That would be nine. Six. Yes. Cause. Yes. So we would do this six inches down. Okay, so I just measure that and move this to about six inches. Okay, then once I have those there, piece of glass in my foot, um, I'm going to tighten this up. And then the last thing I'm going to do is put a picture wire on this. Which I need to grab. Where's my wire? Here it is. Okay. So I have this great big spool of picture wire. And what I'm going to do is run this through one of these sides all the way across and then up underneath the other one. And then I usually give about that much to connect it. Oops, and this one came loose. This guy's not cooperating with me. This hanger. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, so on the other side, I'm actually going to show you how I tie this. But this side I'll just get done. And then, Sid, I'm going to have you bring the camera in closer in a minute. Okay. Okay, so like I said, on the other side over here, I'm going to show you 
um, a good way to attach the hanging wire. All right, so Sid, you want to come in closer on this side? All right, so I'm going to cut this with my wire cutters. So what I do when I tie this off is I pull it tight and then I put it underneath this piece that's going across, then up and through the hook here and then back underneath. And sometimes if you have a tool you can use, it helps to pull it through that way. So then I pull that tight, okay? And then I'm just going to wrap this around, keeping it really tightly wrapped so that the coils are right next to each other until I have it wrapped all the way around. And that's it. So here is the finished piece. In its frame, it's ready to hang. And that's it.